Welcome to Blue Flyer TV. Today I'm going to review the Flytrex Core 2.0. This is the latest offering from Flytrex and basically uh, they make uh, modules for um, flight data recording and flight tracking and uh, this basically for multi rotors um, including the blade of course as you can see over there and also DJI um, flight controllers. So you can see this thing is tiny and let me uh, put this side by side here it's about a third of the size let's see about a third of the size here and it's about 3.5 grams so it's light and tiny and supposedly packs a punch on the Flytrex Core 2.0 um, design they decided to uh, adapt a one size fit all design so the Core 2.0 can be used on the Blade 350QX, the DJI Phantom, or the NASA um, M flight controller, as well as the APM 2.5 and 2.6 flight controller. As far as installation, I'm going to start with my DJI um, F450 here with the NASA light flight controller. Here's the, uh, the Flytrex Core 2.0, the Y cable, basically just connect this here, easy, just like that. And of course, this end connects to the, the GPS, take the GPS off there, slides in there just like that. And then this other end takes the, the GPS slot there and you just plug it in there harder for me to, to see on this end because I'm behind the camera and boom just like that done for the 350QX it gets a little bit more involved because you have to take off uh, the shell and run the bypass cable uh, between the motherboard and the GPS but it's a plug-and-play system it's fairly easy and you could probably do it in uh, less than 10 minutes of course, I saved the uh, best feature for last and uh, Flytrex Core 2.0, uh, they added the, um, a feature called internal buffering. So basically, you want to fly the uh, Core 2.0 um, with the uh, micro SD card um, in it. But just in case you left it at home or some bad flying conditions or any weather uh, mishap that you might have, the uh, Core 2.0 will still save it internally in the uh, internal memory of this and so if something happens like that you forget your micro SD at home uh, you can still retrieve the data of course we have to test this uh, internal buffering system of the new Flytrex Core 2.0 so uh, let's give it a shot after running the uh, the backup procedure for the Flytrex 2.0 I was able to retrieve the uh, the backup files that was in there that I flew and it's all designated by the B um, the B file you can see all the B's and basically it's just putting it uh, backup uh, text file in there to retrieve it and it's a pretty simple procedure and it works well, I have to say that uh, Flytrex uh, is getting high marks from me um, on their Flytrex Core 2.0 and um, I love the fact that they thought about the community and the added versatility uh, basically just having to use one um, core module here the 2.0 so I could swap it for my uh, 350QX um, to my uh, DJI um, F450 and now of course the, uh, the APM 2.5 and 2.6 uh, controller so that's great the internal buffering works that's awesome so if you forget your um, SD card at home you can still uh, retrieve the info and also the size of this thing and uh, as you all know if you're in the multi-rotor uh, community um, space is always uh, at a premium so having it a small size like this uh, it's perfect to uh, be able to put it on a shell or on 
uh, something like uh, a quad like this size so um, overall it gets uh, high marks from me so uh, that's about it for my uh, Flytrex Core 2.0 review for Blue Flyer TV this is Blue Flyer fly safe take care bye bye